main components, host, long range switch instrument, antenna, electrode handle, electrode rod, connect cable, step one, long range search. Long range search instrument uses the geomagnetic field as the working field source and is based on the induced magnetic field generated by different media on the Earth's surface. It uses microcomputer processor control and reflection conductivity for unit calibration, thereby achieving rapid scanning and detection of water sources. Instrument assembly. Connect the 433 antenna to the searcher. Connect the handle to the searcher hose. Press and hold the power on button to seconds. The blue indicator light flashes slowly. Then turn on the host and double-click the long-range search button. Enter the remote search interface. Click the calibration button and immediately turn the searcher one to two times smoothly and slowly until the status bar of the host changes from status. Calibrating to status. Calibration finished. Then point the searcher in the same direction as the plane of the host and click the start button. The searcher indicator light will flash medium blue quickly to indicate successful matching and start the search. Hold the handle of the search instrument with one hand. Straighten your arm. Keep the handle perpendicular to the ground and the search instrument is parallel to the ground. Move along a straight line. When the pointing of the search instrument changes and stops pointing stably in a certain direction, the survey will follow the pointing of the search instrument to change the direction of movement. Before changing the direction of movement, mark the position where the direction of movement is changed. The point of the search instrument is the water source location. Repeat the times until the search range is narrowed to the point where the water source location can be determined. Then use the electric field exploration. Step 2. Electric field exploration. Instrument assembly. Connect the cable plug to the host and align the red dots of the cable plug with the red dots of the host plug. Connect both ends of the cable to the electrode rod. Long press the black power button to enter the startup interface, which displays six options. Click the new measurement button. Show three options, line, depth, and gain. Measuring line settings. Every time you finish measuring one measuring line and need to measure the second one, you need to create a new measuring line number. Click the equilateral triangle line button on the measuring line key to increase the number of measuring lines. It is recommended that each measuring line set 20 measuring points. Parameters. Measuring depth can be selected according to needs. Gain. When the measure value is relatively small, for example, around 0.00, the gain can be adjusted to plus 1 or 2. Before sampling, cross the two electrode rods together and click line test. If the detection light is on, it means the line connection is normal. Next, we use a 10 meters line spacing for measurement. Use a 50 meters measuring tape to stretch it out in a straight line. The wiring method is mainly based on vertical structural directions or grid-like intersections. Insert the electrode close to the main unit into the 0 meters of the tape measure and insert the electrode at the other end into the 10 meters point of the tape measure. After the data collection is completed, the instrument displays that the collection is complete with a prompt sound. Please note each measuring point is the center of the two electrodes. That is, the point 1 is 5 meters on the type. Next, remove the two electrodes forward 1 meter at the same time and click the sampling button to collect the second point. The second point is located 6 meters on the measuring tape. By analogy, repeat the above operation process. After the measurement of the entire survey line is completed, click draw the view curve graphs. Entering the profile, console the 2D and 3D map. Click the file management button from the main interface to enter the interface and view the saved data files. 1. The instrument is not waterproof. Please pay attention to waterproofing and store it in a ventilated and dry place. 2. Do not use it during thunderstorms. 3. Handle the instrument with care and avoid bumps or hits. 4. Keep the battery fully charged even if it is not used for a long time and charge it at least once a month.